Okay, guys, we got this uh, Lincoln. What is this? Lincoln MKZ. And they said that it uh, misfires. And I was like, oh, this is lovely because we got a whole bunch of coils right here. And I have no idea what kind of coils these are or where they're from. It's in this, like, box right here. Unmarked box. So, I don't know if we can even trust these things. Um, so I'm assuming they tried them or something. Let's see, was this, like an 07? Looks like it might be an 07. I'm going to do a full system scan before I start it. I haven't tried starting it yet, so I don't know how bad the misfire is. Here we go. Um, factory navigation not equipped. Oh, I forgot it was going to take a while to do this. Should just scan it first. Fault scan. There we go. Okay, let's get a report. Misfire cylinder one. Okay. Let's save this. Let's go get our license plate real quick. Okay, got a license plate. How many miles are on this thing? Um, let's see. through our mileage. I never remember how to get through this. Is it info? There we go. Info, info. One six eight seven five four. There we go. Okay, let's go into our ECU. I have that. I wonder if we can look at misfires in here. If we got good at hot functions, just start it up. See what happens. <laughs> No, oh, you can definitely feel it. Oh, it just dies when you put it in gear. That's not what I wanted. Let's go back. Hot functions. Let's see if we can get a power balance. Here we go. Under one is dead. And it just gets worse when we put it in gear. So let's go check the cylinder out. <laughs> Actually, we should probably do a clear flood. Just do a clear flood, make sure it sounds good. Okay, so it didn't sound too bad doing clear flood. Um Up here. Oh, I bet you saw the lens in the back. Oh, 
Let me call a wiring diagram real quick. Cause I don't know what's on cylinder one. Hey guys, so I got my uh, diagram out. This fuse, 48 right here. I only printed out like two pages of it. Fuse 48. Okay, well anyway, fuse 48, I can show you guys when I get back inside, um, goes over and it feeds all our ignition coils. And this is our firing order right here. So cylinder one, this is the front of the motor, cylinder one will be back here. So what I did was I took my paddle probe right here, I set my paddle probe on top of the coil. Then I came over here, fuse 48, removed 48, put an amp clamp in there. Um, this is the snap on the lamp clamp. And then I brought it up here on the lab scope. And let's see if we can get this out of the light. Maybe. Let's see if this will be any better. I may just have to print this out for you guys. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to focus out here. I might have to bring this up. Let me print this out for you guys. Oh, there you can kind of see it. Here, I'll stop it. I'll stop it and I'll move it. Oh, there's my diagram. Diagram blew underneath the car. This is a mess. going to be the worst video in the world. Here's our blue wire. Oops. Come on, focus. There we go. Blue wire comes over. And it feeds all of these well there and then it splices down here so if you look at our lab scalp oh now you guys can see it um let's get a better let's see. okay this will be fine so here Yellow is our current. Green is our sink. So we move our current up just a little bit. Come on. There we go. You'll see our current is low on this second pulse. They double fire. So that is what's causing our misfire right there, our second one. So if we look at these other ones, you can see, you can see on these other ones, they're all the second peak is higher, and this one's lower. So let me save this. We'll get another capture, and then we'll look at it printed out. Put brand new Motocraft spark plugs in. Um, I didn't get a photo of that. But I wanted to show you these spark plugs. So. Uh, these are how I took them out. This one was a Motorcraft. Let's check the gap. So this was, oh, let's see, is it gonna go over 60? So we're at like 61,000, 61,000, 61,000 or so. So it ain't too bad, but it's a Motorcraft plug. So I'm thinking that that's probably the original plug. Um, there was also, an auto light in here and uh, let's check this one so there's the auto light the auto lights like 53 thousandths spec is uh, I think it was 53 to 57 so they weren't too bad. I didn't see any obvious signs. Um, actually, I put these coils out of order when I moved them. But um, this one's like all like messed up on this side. So I think there might have been something wrong with this coil. 
Oh, I didn't see anything on the inside. I didn't really see anything in there. But the side of this coil, assuming it was getting hot or something, you can see the line going down the side. I don't think it was jumping out. It, maybe. Um, I put all their coils in. That's what they wanted. And I told them I don't usually use, like, no-name brand coils. Like, I'd either get motor crap or something. At least something with a warranty. But, uh... Yeah, I didn't see any issues with these. The front spark plugs are right here. These were all motocrafts. So, I don't know if these are original. Oh, and they're different, too. So, I want to show you this. So, these have, like, the iridium tips. See that? They have, like, the really small tip. Or they platinum. But the platinum, but they have that pointy tip. These back ones... Oh, these are the same. Oh, maybe they are all the same. Oh, no, this auto light is all rounded. See that? So, just thought that was odd. But like I said, I didn't see anything with these plugs. So, I got, like I said, I got brand new Motocraft spark plugs in there. Put their coils in. Got new gaskets. I'm going to put new gaskets on the intake and get this all bolted up. I cleaned the throttle body. And we'll see how this runs. Hey guys, so I got the car all back together. Oh, actually I don't have everything back together. I got this one. There we go. Let's to clear our codes real quick. Just connected our scan tool up. I wanted to uh, go in and clear our coats anyway from our misfires. And then we can see how well this works. Let's see. Let's go into our engine computer. Maybe. Oh, that's right. This thing takes forever to scan. I think. Control unit, PCM. Can we do a reset on the ECU? Keep a live memory reset. Functions. Mm, here. There you go. Reset keep alive. There we go. Now complete. So you switch off. Start it up. There we go. So now we can go into our cylinder, put our power balance, and we'll uh, we'll let this run for a little bit and warm up, and we'll see what happens here. I have to wait for our idle to come down, but it should end up being pretty stable. Like one drop isn't too bad. Um, We'll have to see what happens here. We just don't want anything constant. It feels smooth, like I didn't even feel those, so we'll have to see what happens here. Plus, I cleaned the throttle body. Let's see, it's just clear. So this will eventually, or should smooth out. It'll be a lot better. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit. Let our car warm up, let our idle come down. Okay guys, it's probably been like 10 or 15 minutes that this car's been running. Um, oh, it yelled at me. I guess it disconnected. Let's just go back. 
Center Control Unit, PCM, Trouble Codes, let's see if we have any. So we have this vague. Put this in reverse. Brake target. Feels fine. Let's go and drive. I think they got a bad motor mount though. Yeah, they definitely got a bad motor mount. Man, did this actually disconnect? Oh, did I kick it? No. Still connected. Oh, now it shows it. Um, oh, probably because I was pressing it. Is there a check engine light on? No check engine light, okay. Let's go to live data. I wonder if it did like a self check while I was doing that. Actually, it probably didn't. Maybe it didn't clear codes when I did the keep alive memory reset. Even though that should have cleared codes. Let's see, what are our fuel trims? Let's see. Long term. Short term would probably be at the bottom. Short term, oops. Let's see, long term. Oh yeah, look at that, that's pretty good. Under 5%, let's put it in gear. Yeah, I would say guys, we are good. Um, let's go back. Active test. Is there a crank relearn or anything that we gotta do? I don't see it in here. Good trouble codes. Let's clear these codes. And I think we're done here. So, I hope you guys like this one. Um, it's pretty simple. I'm trying to keep it short. See you guys later. I just want to add this in here. So, we'll start this back up. Just press read codes real quick. I cleared them just to show that there aren't any. And even if we had those throttle codes, this thing would not rev. So, look at that, no codes. That code is just because the system's cleared. Hope you guys like this. See you later.